Woo, I'm about to sign that contract with Damon right now. That celebrity boxing shit, boy. Anybody who wants to see me in the game throw hands, comment below. Your manager hit me, nigga, but you did it. I got jumped, nigga, but you didn't touch Except that fight, boy. Show everybody you can step in that paint. Show everybody you want hunted. You say you're going to put them hands on me. I want to see you do Feldman it. here with Celebrity Boxing. So look, the word is stitches got snuck. And the game, you've been offered fights several times. You never stepped up. Stitches has signed the contract. Game, are you going to sign here? Step up. I bet you is about to sign that contract because ain't nobody else going to sign nothing with your whack ass. I put my hands on you, Stitches. Me and you run that back, homie, so I can beat your motherfucking ass and whoop your ass like a little punk motherfucker you is. Me and you. Get your Woody Jackie Dumps and check it out because you know what, man? I never pretend to be a street niggas, but that's the reason why I got street niggas in the comment section. Yes, believe me, most of my audience, they've claimed to catch like 10 bodies. They're in jail currently commenting and still able to get the first comment. Shit is real. But just let me explain it. You guys, I need your help with something because a guy named Stitches, which we I guess we know him by now, right? Stitches, he had an issue with the game, okay? He claims the game was a pussy nigga, okay? He promised when he saw the game, it was going to be on site. He said it would be the last time the game's kids would get to see him, right? Man, the game is a pussy ass nigga who won't even meet me up. I bet your kids don't even call your daddy. They probably call you pussy nigga because that's what the fuck you is, nigga. Claiming to be a blood, claiming to be a crip, nigga, pick a side, because you a pussy. Now, this is two months ago. Fast forward, the game drops an album, shows up to Florida, because he's doing a bunch of parties and a bunch of, like, little shows, right? Now, the thing I hate about Goons, man, is that a nigga will tell you he's going to do all type of demonic shit to you. I'm going to push my AK-47 down your stomach, and I'm going to blow your fucking guts out. But then there's always one caveat. There's always one but. He's like, when you come to my city, like, nigga, if you're going to say all that, how about you go on the road and go find a motherfucker you're trying to do all that too? Niggas will tell you every goddamn thing, but the one caveat is when you come to my city. Now, the game went to Florida, right? Or, quote, unquote, the region or city that Stitches claim is his city. Now, he had no excuse, so pretty much he showed up to the club. And, um, listen, man, Stitches turned into a full-time fucking vlogger while the game was inside. Listen, Stitches was outside vlogging like fucking Fousey Tuba, like Roman Atwood. Listen, he was outside with the camera waiting for four hours to catch a fade. Now, I hope you're keeping up with the malarkey because he was going to beat up pussy nigga the game. Now, keep in mind, right, the game is being sued by four other dudes and four other, like, fights or altercations. Three of them claim they were street niggas and that he was a pussy nigga. So, not only that, there's a cop suing him as well. Okay, so pretty much it's a lose-lose for him. You beat a nigga's ass, they sue you, they beat you up, they got clout. Now, to Stitch's credit, and we will give him credit for this, when the game exit the club about four hours later while Stitches was outside vlogging like a motherfucker, okay, he walks up on the game. Now, he gets knocked out by the game's manager, Wack 100. Now, Stitches, after the fact, he wants a fair one, but he wants it with the game. Now, listen, man, don't look like the game is trying to fight him for whatever reason, probably because of priors and also Stitches. He looks like somebody who's about to sue, okay, white privilege at the end of the day. But pretty much Stitches put up a couple of videos, you guys saw it, but the caption read, Pussy nigga the game, okay? <laughs> oh, this is, this is fucking hilarious, okay? Pussy, listen, I, I gotta ad-lib this shit because this, I can't take this nigga serious. Pussy nigga the game, time to prove to everybody that you can handle your own beef. We do this and donate the money to a charity. And the discussion at Celebrity Boxing, Celebrity Boxing is a company that sets up Celebrity Boxing, kind of self-explanatory, but he said, you know I will take you one-on-one -on -one fear fight like men do. Let's get it. Don't use the excuse of me suing you, because that will never be my intention. Plus, this is all on contract. No suing. So he's kind of saying, listen, I will not be suing you. Now, Here's the thing, because uh, game's manager, Wack 100, looks like he wants to fight. He's going to jump in before JC on, or if you don't know, that's the game. He says, I'll fight you, Stitches. We ain't no bitches over here. So he responds by saying this. He says, 
listen. And he put up a video. He said, listen, I'll fight you, but I'll fight you if a black owned business actually sets up and promotes the fight. Now, a couple of people, this, this all went down in my Instagram comment section. If you don't follow me at I'm Academics, please follow. Now, a couple of people say, yo, why does it have to be a black owned business that sets up this fight? So he responded to one guy. He says, black people promote boxing. If we do it, it'll be under a black situation period. The white boy needs the black man to pull the publicity stunt right, so it's only right that the black man controls it. This is 2015, not 1715. Okay, then it responded to somebody else. He said, because we don't fuck with celebrity boxing white boy, period. He know that. Now, the person he's talking about, the person who owns and runs and operates celebrity boxing is someone named Danny or Damon Felden, and he's obviously not black. Okay, so if you guys are wondering or confused. Now, Let's continue. He actually asked Celebrity Boxing and says, let the people know that we don't fuck with you, clown. Let them know that I told you years ago we'll never do business with you, clown. So why are you still trying? I'll set it up between me and Stitches through my plugs in Las Vegas. You'll never make a dime off us, okay? And then Celebrity Boxing actually responded, okay? So Damon Felder responded by saying, whack one on it. You talk a lot behind a computer calling me white boy. Check out who I am. You're a manager to one rapper. You can talk what you want. Bye. I would know. I don't, okay, he, he kind of starts like fucking up with the type. And bye, I would KO. Oh, but I would KO you. But it's about, and I think he meant to tag Stitches versus the game. Okay. Now, afterwards, Wack 100 said this. Celebrity boxing, me and you can get down. Punk, white boy, you better check who the fuck I am before you run your mouth. Fuck this industry, idiot. I come from these streets, clown. You say one more thing to me, I'm going to send you a serious message, and I bet then you'll know who I am. Now, obviously, Wack 100, he seems pretty serious. Actually, if you kind of listen to his video, he seems pretty fucking angry, okay? I think he needs some anger management class, but I believe they're gang members, okay? There's nothing sweet. There's nothing funny. Now... Do I think the game should fight stitches? I don't know, and that's why I'm actually calling up on you guys, the real street niggas who claim you're on YouTube, comments on my videos, to actually tell me. Should the game give stitches a fair one, or should he not? I see a promotion angle for stitches. Stitches swears that if he gets knocked out or if he loses the fight in a real fair capacity, he will let this all go. What do you guys think? Does the game owe him a fair one? And maybe could the manager, or should the manager, since the manager is the one who I quote unquote sucker punched him, should the manager just square up with him in a one on one? And also, what do you think about this whole let's do it with a black business? Okay, basically he's saying, listen, I got no problem fighting with this guy, but I want a black owned business running this thing because I'm not going to let this guy who I don't like, who is white, profit off what we're doing. Okay, you guys get in the comment box, let me know. It's Woody Academics, man. Come on.